Happy New Year, stargazers. If you're wondering what's in the sky in January, we have the answer. The month kicks off with the peak of the quadrantid meteor shower. This above average shower can produce up to 40 meteors an hour at its peak. The full moon on this night will most likely wash out all with the brightest of the quadrantids, but you may be able to spot some if you're patient. Jupiter, the king of the planets, will reach opposition on January 10th meaning that it will be at its closest approach to Earth. This close proximity will make it appear bigger and brighter than usual, and it will be visible all night long. This month will also be a great time to view it through a telescope or binoculars. A medium-sized telescope should be able to show you some of the details in Jupiter's cloud bands. The new moon falls on January 18th. This will be the best time to view fainter night sky objects like galaxies and star clusters. Now for some constellations. Cygnus is swan diving into the west for the winter, following the rest of the summer triangle. The six bright stars of the winter hexagon are beginning to rise. Sirius, Rigel, Aldebaran, Capella, Pollux, and Procyon. The Pleiades are high in the night sky, and Orion is rising right after them, followed by his hunting dog, Canis Major. Gemini and Cancer are coming into view just as Capricorn and Aquarius are on their way out, taking Saturn with them. More advanced stargazers can look for deep sky objects like the Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, and the Crab Nebula. Head up to Lowell Observatory to see these objects and more through our telescopes. Now for some news updates. Join our friends at Grand Canyon Conservancy for insights and impacts at Grand Canyon National Park on January 21st. This Zoom webinar will feature Superintendent Ed Keebel and Grand Canyon Conservancy CEO Elizabeth Silks. At Lowell, we're getting geared up for the 2026 iHeart Pluto Festival. This year's events will run from February 12th to the 16th. Stay tuned for updates on special guests limited time Mother Road beer, exclusive tours, and more. From December 31st to January 5th, we will be offering a limited time show at the Dark Sky Planetarium, Legends of the Winter Sky, with storyteller and director of public programs, Todd Gonzalez, will run at 7.45, 8.30, and 9.15 nightly. Don't miss out on the seasonal show. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Tyler Richie Owl, an astronomer here at Lowell Observatory, and this has been the Arizona Night Sky Report. We'll see you next time.